Welcome to TEI Limited. TEI are specialists in the manufacture, installation, repair and maintenance of high-pressure steam-raising plant and equipment and are recognised as a leader in the UK in this field. TEI is equipped and capable of executing major capital and turnkey projects within the power, petrochemical, utility and waste-to-energy plant industries. In 2006, TEI was awarded the contract for the retubing of three of the six main steam turbine condensers at Drax Power Station in Yorkshire, England. Drax Power Limited is the largest coal-fired power station in the UK, with a 4,000 megawatt capacity and a fully operational flue gas desulfurization FGD plant. The contract involved the supply, removal and replacement of 60,000 cupro-nickel condenser tubes, each measuring 25.4 millimetres in diameter and 21 metres in length. Each of the three condensers contained 20,000 tubes. TEI fought off competition to win the contract with a tight programme and an enviable proven track record in this field having already achieved highly efficient condenser retubes at other power stations such as Uskmouth and Kilroot. The work on each condenser was to be completed in six weeks, well within the station outage time for each unit. There are very few manufacturers worldwide who can supply the tubes specified for this contract, particularly in the required lengths, over 21 metres long. TEI used its extensive partner network for the supply of the three sets of tubes. In March 2007, the tubes were shipped from Italy to Gould Docks, where a huge crane equipped with a bespoke spreader beam lifted the cargo from ship to dock. Lorries were used on the docks that had long extendable bases to take the 21 meter long load. Crates were removed one at a time and driven to the dockside warehouse, where three forklift trucks moved simultaneously to complete the unloading process. The crates were loaded back onto the lorry five at a time and transported by road to Drax. After mobilizing the site team and setting up all equipment, work on the first condenser started. The overhead gantry was removed, followed by the removal of the outlet and water boxes. Additional access doors were cut into the shell and then the tube bore cleaning started using RICO equipment. Tube bore cleaning was specified by the client to minimize any environmental issues and also to increase the value of the scrap. In order to remove the tubes, firstly the tube plugs were removed, then the inlet end inserts. On the inlet end, the internal bore tubes were cut behind the inner tube sheet and the tube stud ends were removed. At the outlet end, the tubes were then pre-released before they were fully removed using a retube coat traveller. This is the state-of-the-art tube removal equipment which is capable of pulling and flattening tubes at up to 240 feet per minute which means that a 70-foot long Drax condenser tube could be removed in less than 30 seconds using a minimum labour input. TEI is proud to have the exclusive licence for the use of this retube co equipment throughout Europe and South Africa. The flattened tubes were then walked to a specially designed retube co chopping machine which automatically cuts them into pieces approximately 6 inches long and collects them in bins at the workplace. These bins were then transported by forklift truck to tipper trucks located outside the turbine hall. This metal was then taken off site for sale as a highly desirable scrap metal byproduct. This process minimizes the use of the turbine hall crane, which is always in heavy demand during an outage. It also frees up floor space in the turbine hall. The process of packing removal then started. This is a very successful technique developed by RICO and TEI Limited for the rapid removal of tube packings using high pressure water jetting. In addition to the high speed of packing removal, the process is also very effective in cleaning the packing boxes ready for fitting the replacement packings. The use of water minimizes any health risks which could result from dust generated when packings are removed in the dry condition. Tube sheet hole cleaning was the next process. Specially manufactured carbide ball burrs are used to clean and size the support plate holes. 
This ensures that the holes are not enlarged, which could result in vibration problems when the condenser is returned to service. The shell interior was also cleaned out. The installation started with loading boxes of new tubes onto a scaffold platform, then fitting tube guides into the leading end of the tubes. The new tubes were loaded into the condenser from the outlet end and then expanded into the inner tube sheets. The first two packings were loaded into the outer tube sheets and a preliminary annulus hydraulic pressure test then took place. The remaining packings were loaded into the outer tube sheets. The next step was the facing of the tube ends at the outlet end. The water boxes were refitted and a final tube side hydraulic pressure test took place before the manway access doors to the shell were closed and the overhead cable gantry was reinstated. TEI uses an integrated management system to ensure that safety, quality and environmental matters are managed in an effective manner to the satisfaction and benefit of its stakeholders. TEI is a member of the British Safety Council and has a long established record of health and safety management. The intent of the company's health and safety policy is zero accidents. As a result of this dedicated approach, TEI have received both the Rosper Award for 13 consecutive years and also the ECIA Award for the leading contractor in promoting safe practices in the first two years of its inauguration. TEI has its headquarters in Wakefield and has regional offices in South Wales, Kent, Middlesex and Northumberland. This means clients have local access to the complete TEI portfolio and can rely upon specialist advice and support from the following centres of excellence. Thermal design, specialist welding, engineering and design services, metallurgical laboratory services, welder training and testing, impact explosive engineering and boiler spares. We hope this short film has given you an insight into our capabilities, management systems and work ethics. For more information and contact details, visit us online at www.tei.co.uk.